The sequel to the 2012 horror film Sinister is moving ahead and will be released in 2015. The director from the original film, Scott Derrickson, is co-writing the script for Sinister 2 and will be a producer on the project but will not return to direct. Some people are speculating he's not returning due to the rumors that he's in the running to direct the upcoming Marvel film Doctor Strange. John, buy or sell Sinister 2. You know, I'm going to very hesitantly buy it. And the, the only reason I'm going to hesitantly buy it is because of this. I was totally in for the first two acts of Sinister. I love the first two acts. The first two thirds of that film, it hooked me in. It legitimately creeped me out. I thought Handsome Hawk was really good in it, you know, playing the lead in that horror. I, I just was totally into it. And then that third act, just the wheels came off and it completely lost me. But, but not so much so that I didn't still walk out going, okay, I'm still glad I saw it because I really was entertained those first two acts. Here's the thing, if they can just correct the mistakes they made with the third act of that film, and you know, we got the same writers coming back, the guy who directed the first is gonna write the second, if they can identify that mistake, correct that, I thought the tone they set for that movie was great, so for me, hesitantly, cautiously, but I'm gonna give it a buy. I have to sell it only because I never saw the first one. <laughs> um, and, because, and for me, the reason I, I would say is it's, it's hard, again, when a movie is successful and they never bring the director b back for the second one, I always say, that's tough because he's got such a lock on the franchise. And it's not to say other directors can't do it because they, right. they definitely can. I mean, look what, again, Matthew Vaughn did with, with the X-Men franchise. Mm -hmm. you know? So it, it, it can happen. Um, I just, again, I, I would like to see the first one. I like Ethan Hawke. I hear gr great things about the movie. Uh, I have heard that the ending falls apart from a lot of people. But again, depending on if the team is back, the same old story, if the team's back and knows what they're doing, then I, mm, I could go over to the byline. And you've mentioned you're not really a horror guy. I'm so not a big horror guy, Right, no. so this one didn't really appeal to you in the first place. No, I, for me, it's, I just feel horror is the laziest of the genres. Sometimes, it's, this one could appeal to me because it th seems like it has more detail to it. Right. I, like, like, I loved The Conjuring. Like movies oh, that, so good, like yeah. movies that have de like detail. It's not so much that I just don't. I don't like like movies that just are made for two million dollars and just know that they can rip off audiences. So they do the same generic uh, beats and like right. you know, like that kind of stuff. That's not my style. I like I like the other one, the the one with uh, oh man, that just came out recently. It was like a kind of a spoof on horror films with um, uh, Shanus. I can't remember the name. I'll think of it halfway okay. through the show. <laughs> but uh, I just I think the genre itself can be lazy sometimes. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.